Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, galactic visionaries of the new Edenic timeline. As we walk the rainbow bridge, merging the two worlds into one, we bring heaven to earth through our sacred heart centers. With the power of our mighty I Am Presence, we hold the vision of the new earth as we anchor in the higher codes flowing in from the great central sun. With this great awakening and opening of the stellar gates, nothing can stop this procession of higher dimensional alignments and galactic downloads preparing humanity for this quantum leap of consciousness. Keep rising higher and higher up this spiral as we anchor fully into 5D Earth. We are raised in this resurrection of the new time to transform this realm into the paradise of Shambhala. Aho! We had many powerful activations and waves flowing in today, very intense energies. The matrix is fully revealing itself today, and we are on day two of the Rainbow Bridge. And each day, everything, all energies are accelerating and intensifying. We had many powerful earth changes and activations over the last 24 hours. We had major flooding today in Thailand. Tropical storm, Dian Mu, brings flooding to north and central regions. We had many powerful activations all day today. We had 143 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Most powerful today in Crete, Greece in the sacred portal and many aftershocks after this. We're going to get right into the Sabian symbols today. Right now the moon is at 26 degrees, 58 minutes Gemini. The sun is at 5 degrees, 24 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 6 degrees Libra. A man watches his ideals taking a concrete form before his inner vision. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 27 degrees Gemini. A young gypsy emerging from the woods gazes at far cities. From astrologyweekly.com We're going to start off today's transmissions from our Divine Sister of the Light, I call Mama Angel, Victoria Lillian Quest. September 27, 2021, 4.46 a.m. Vision. Beloved family, boundless love from Victoria. Exactly one year ago, at this exact time, I experienced a profound vision with our beloved Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and Blessed Divine Mother Mary, that lasted four hours. The message, all humanity, every soul, will go into a temporary deep sleep. They showed also our souls teleporting back and forth during this deep sleep to receive and claim each soul's personal destiny of what they choose, to be their new reality, to be living and thriving in a healed world of pristine beauty, peace, abundance, creativity, oneness, and unity, with our world appearing as becoming totally cleansed, like going through a car wash, a glistening rebirth. Each soul is given a choice of where they wish to progress to. Every soul will go into a deep sleep, no judgment. All souls have this choice. The pure in heart, the galactic starseeds, loving souls, worry not. There will be some that will choose other realities. I have prayed every day for humanity to have this experience, which Jesus and Mary adamantly revealed to me over and over for four hours. I seal this prayer in the light and the love of the universe, and so it is. Amen. From Victoria Lillian Quest, 144, coming in, and from Divine Brothor of Light, Jason Estes. Update, humanity has chosen to speed up the progress starting tonight, there will be a nice 200 point jump per hour. This will lead to a bit of a rough week as we learn to process at this new speed. What this means is that every other hour will now be 1200 data points instead of 1000. It was the 4000 data points every other hour that will stay the same while this may be a bit intense at first. For our bodies this will clean up the world much faster 
and eventually be something we are all grateful for. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Linda Good McGillis. As the world turns, many have been feeling much these past few days, yet what is to come in this afternoon and evening will be increased. This will be very discombobulating for the body. These are energies never experienced before. None any can feel earlier have already felt all unknown, rapid, exponential, and intense expansion, shock time. Truth can be shockingly devastating and liberating in this uncomfortableness. It's never what the physical presents. Just remember that, darlings, surrounding all with grace, love, and blessings. As the magnetic energies permeate and increases the next few days, the body may feel like a thousand Mack trucks have run over it. Stretching, extra hydration, grounding are helpful. Take time for loving massage and talk out loud to your body and body parts reassuring it. This will assist in a more graceful and ease flow. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Fifth Dimensional Color Expansion. As your physical form adjusts, as your eyes awaken to higher dimensional abilities, know the rainbow light codes are expanding. As your eyes integrate multidimensional expansion, a new way to view color as you integrate the higher intelligence of color. Understand the color spectrum language is a new energetic format to interpret. It simply requires your multidimensional light field to absorb the higher light codes, to move through to your physical conscious form. As your world upgrades, so does every light being. Connect to colors and absorb within your eyes, hands, feel your light body integrating. A whole new multidimensional world is fast approaching. Know you are doing wonderfully well. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. We have a lot of galactic energies coming in right now. You can probably feel the storm in the air. The equinox shifted us into the last quarter of the year. We are going to continue to receive and feel the energies of the equinox over the next few weeks. The energies are going to be really high this week. We are now in Libra season. This Libra season is all about coming back into balance and harmony. Make sure you're really working on your energy to make that happen. This Libra season is also a heavy retrograde season. We have six planetary retrogrades. Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are all in retrograde. This can be confusing things. Libra season is meant to bring healing to your love life. Libra is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. It's known as a time to cuddle or snuggle. This is a time to choose love on every level. Libra is also about coming together and working together. The more we unite with others, the easier of a time we should have. It's not just about what we can create alone anymore, but what we can create together. October 6th, we have a Libra new moon. We will feel the effects of this new moon for four weeks. It will be extra powerful. These new moon energies will also shift the focus back to the Divine Feminine. We are being encouraged to come into more balance with the feminine and masculine. This new moon will also bring a lot of Mars energy with it. It's so important to be doing something positive with these energies. Pluto is also adding to the energies. Pluto rules over death and rebirth. Pluto loves to take us on a trip into the underworld. The northern hemisphere will continue to tilt away from the sun this time of year. You're being reminded that in darker spaces you're meant to only shine so much brighter. Asteroid karma will be adding to the energies. Our intentions and actions are what makes up our future path, not just in this life but in the next. These energies are going to help us to clear any karma, but are giving us a chance to break any karmic cycles. Saturn also rules over karma and shifts direct October 10th. Expect to be dealing with and clearing any karmic baggage going on until then. A lot of the time, that is your own programming and how you react to things. You may be having old feelings coming up to the surface to heal and release. We are only a few days from October. October is going to bring new energies and much higher frequency energies. October also brings Samhain, Halloween. That means the veil between worlds will continue to thin and reach its thinnest of the year on Samhain. 
That means we have more contact with the other side. Autumn is known as the season of the witch. You'll get more glimpses past the veil. Because the veil is thin, we can tap into more of our spiritual gifts. If you are a light worker, make sure you're protecting your energy a little extra right now. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Elena Danan. This is a message for all of you to be brave. I ask you all to be brave. This is the final combat. This is the time of confusion, of doubt, of fear, but also of courage and of resilience. Hope must be kept in your heart as your fuel. The intention is what leads you into battle. Love, love for not only the humanity of Terra, but love for all life in this galaxy. For this battle, it is what it is about, protecting all life. Protecting and defending first those who are the future, the children, our kids. We are fighting for them, not for us, but for them, because it is them who already are the future. They already carry in them the seeds of this future, and they will remember us, the forefathers and the foremothers who set this world free. Whoever came, the millennial enemy who has been terrorizing the whole galaxy for eons. Us, the warriors from the stars, and the warriors from Terra united together. We have made this victory happen, and our children and grandchildren remember us and honor us for our sacrifice, for our courage, and for not having lost hope during the times of the deepest, scariest, harshest darkness. Keep peace and calm and quiet in your heart. May your sword always be moved by an intention of love. Love the greatest weapon now. Stop kneeling, stop complaining and stand up, face it. You are stronger than this. You have survived until now, for this very moment, and everything you've known as trials, wounds, scars, hardships, was only to prepare you for this right moment now, because now is the moment you came for. It is time you stand up and time you do what you are meant to be here for. The whole galaxy trusts in you, so trust in yourself. Know who you are. You are amazing. Stand up. Elena Danan and from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. Our opportunity to complete transcending out of mirroring and triggers of the heart is happening. It has been part of your starseed mission to face trauma and emotional blocks head-on to heal them. These have also been soul growth lessons for your evolution and wisdom, training you on how to be stable, grounded, calm, strong, and confident in the flesh body. Ezekiel 1831 Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Ezekiel 3626 A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Psalms 57 7. My heart is fixed. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. You've been pushed to break through the ego and acknowledge your true divine self, especially your value and worth. You are God's sacred gem. Now you can see this too. This awareness is clearing lack and being taken advantage of. What's been siphoned and out of balance is restoring in your life. Mercury going retrograde in Libra today till October 18th is God gifting us the opportunity to settle unresolved issues holding us back. Destined movements forward brings new and renewed opportunities to revisit, reconnect, and communicate with others. Settlements and closure is needed for our soul's evolution to continue. Seeing things more accurately from everyone's perspective is bringing healthy communication and relationships with moderation and self-control. The Most High is also serving judgments over romantic partners that lied and made false promises. They attached to the lower chakras and made promises of a stable, committed relationship, which was never the case. God gave them opportunities to resolve the pain, sorrow, and disappointments they caused you, which they didn't accept. Any remaining attachments and karma from these past partners are being removed today. This may result in purging of the heart, solar plexus, sacral, womb, and root chakras. 
as the old order is being dismantled from the body, the light is forcing these people to understand their behaviors and choices and deal with their own personal issues that created these obstacles. As this is all going down, continue focusing on the upgrades of your new heart. This is aligning you to the kingdom marriage and kingdom family template that you've been asking for. As the former marriage and family template is passing away, in Jesus Christos' name, Amen, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA, September 27th through October 1st, 2021, Gene Key 18, Judgment, Integrity, Perfection, from Prosperity, A Guide to Your Pearl Sequence. The spiritual mistake refers to the tendency of those on a spiritual path to forget that they are human and overlay their ordinary character traits with new ones that seem more holy. This tendency can also refer to our relationship to money, material success, and prosperity. Many seekers believe that spirituality comes about through adopting a particular lifestyle. This lifestyle is usually more meditative than materialistic, involves healthier eating patterns or specific diets, and usually some form of dedicated spiritual practice. There are elements of truth to such things. For example, a disciplined spiritual practice may bring about a shift in our awareness. As our awareness becomes more refined, we may well decide to eat and live more simply. However, clarity of awareness does not require any special set of external conditions, nor can it necessarily be enhanced by them. If these things occur along the way, they may simply be a cultural byproduct of our attempt to become awakened. One of the hallmarks of prosperity is the ability to enjoy life. This means that we needn't live an austere existence, but are here to explore life in its many rich forms. Earning a healthy income is surely one of the ways in which we can enjoy and appreciate life. Sometimes the spiritual mistake with money is seeing money itself as unspiritual, Perhaps we do not believe that our lives can be any other way. In the Gene Keys teaching called the Pearl, you are invited to ask yourself a serious question. Can you truly see yourself as prosperous? There is no discrepancy between earning a healthy income and being awake. If you are not materially prosperous already, perhaps you have not quite answered this question truthfully inside yourself. Pearl of Prosperity and from the classic book of change, the Yi Ching, hexagram 18, working on what has been spoiled, wind blows low on the mountain. Maintain a gentle mind and strong back, restraining words until clarity is needed. Perfection is stillness with clarity. Integrity is restrained intuition. Judgment is stressful unease. Appreciating intention. Repair on what has been spoiled brings success turning poison into medicine. The superior man, in accordance with this, stimulates the virtue of the people. In this 18th gene key, we're really talking about mental judgments. We can think about what our life would be like without our mind making these judgments when we're just sunk into the inherent perfection of it all. Perfection isn't a judgment. It's a cellular knowing. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, GeneKeys.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise, Gaia Daily, September 27th through October 1st. Bask in the glory. Today, Mercury stations retrograde, signaling a potent period of time. It seems like we are grinding to a halt. This retrograde season feels like we are suspended in time, between the past and the future. We are halfway through the three-week transit of Mercury and square to Pluto. This is bringing up everything external that does not align with our truth, and it's right in our face. It's giving us a great opportunity to shed whatever is in the way of fully establishing our life in a new frequency vibration. Mercury is also making a sweet trine with Jupiter and Aquarius, reminding us that it's all about moving into a new age in order to have true justice. All evidence must be produced in this time of revelation so that humanity can see clearly. Ignorance will no longer be blissful. Mars in Libra is in a powerful air trine with Black Moon Lilith in Gemini and Saturn in Aquarius. 
This is ushering in a new renaissance. At seven degrees, this formation is about the rebirth of Christ's consciousness. But our new world cannot be built on a rotten foundation. Black Moon Lilith and Gemini is bringing forth all discrepancies, lies, delusions, and distortion into the light. We can't get to the lightest light, while dark truths remain hidden. We are starting to feel Mars coming into opposition with Chiron and Aries, the peaceful warriors facing off with deep wounds from where we have given our power away. Mars, the ruler of Aries, in this opposition, is bringing up suppressed anger at the atrocities we have allowed to occur in our world. We have been acting like we have no power, but Chiron and Aries speaks to our God-given right of a direct connection to Source. In these times of higher dimensional activation, our power is growing, naturally and organically. Everything the dark controllers are doing is an effort to hold back this awakening, but nothing can stop it. The time has come. This retrograde season is about the final preparation. Bask in the glory of the light that is returning. By simply putting our attention there, we grow the power of the people. Love wins. From AdrianElise.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lu Astrology. Mercury stations retrograde in Libra. The god of mind and communication begins a backstep through the sign of partnership. For the next three weeks, we are asked to reassess our relationships. Whether business or romantic connection, something is out of sync, and it's important that we allow time for reflection. If there are delays, mixed messages, or information is missing, Give the situation time to unfold. The more we push for resolution, the harder Mercury pushes back. Diplomacy and willingness to compromise is key. Although if we have compromised too much in the past, this transit will ask us to reset the balance. Likewise, if we've been sitting on the fence with an important decision, this retrograde period will nudge us towards a final resolution. Mercury is on the Sabian symbol, an eagle and a large white dove change into each other. Heros gamos. The eagle teaches us about how to see each other clearly and to perceive both the big picture and the little picture. The dove encourages us to find peace inwardly and outwardly. The symbol also asks us to switch places to comprehend different perspectives. There is transformative energy at work, changing the shape of things. If you feel confused, drop into your heart and ask what it has to say. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon, Peace Time, Today our galactic signature is Kin 27, Blue Magnetic Hand, Hun Manik. The dance begins with the unification of the magnetic tone of purpose. Blue Magnetic Hand, Hun Manik, guides and teaches us to know the power of completion and closure, which allows us to move to higher levels of being through focusing on actively healing and actualizing our abilities to craft in order to magnetically draw the energies and resources that may be used to attract and activate our true purpose. Blue Magnetic Hand, Hun Manik, reminds us that we must be unified with our true purpose in order to attract the intelligent vibrational energies to fulfill our true purpose. Purpose is magnetic and attracts unity. The highest purpose is union. Working with our purpose is in fact a unifying act. Blue magnetic hand, Hun Manik, invites us to let accomplishments be defined by our own innate knowing through unification with our truest and highest passions. We can access unity consciousness and thereby sense the wholeness that gives our lives real meaning. The cauldron of creation is summoning us to enter the gateway of primal beginningness through which we are initiated into the interconnectedness of our own vital life force with all that exists. Although there are infinite lenses of perception, all truth eventually leads us back to our source, thereby reflecting the endless order of the one disguised as the many. Ultimately, we are all nothing but the expression of our creator's meditation. Today, Kin 27, Blue Magnetic Hand is the first day of the Blue Hand Wave Spell. Blue Hand is one of the 20 aspects of our environment celebrated in the Zolkin, Soul Count, 260-day calendar. 
The glyph image shows the fingers and the curvature of a thumb, reminding us the power we gain from opposable digits. How in terms of evolution, we succeed at the top of the food chain because we can pinch our thumb against our fingers. The circles represent keen vision as well as the target we aim for with hand-eye coordination. If the eye is one way, the brain learns. In this blue hand time, it is wide open, and we come into tremendous comprehensive knowledge and accomplishment as our visualizations are realized. The Mayan word for blue hand is manik, and we can note the easy connection between it and the Spanish that linguistically colonized their territories in mano for hand. This Latin cognate is used in many common English words, manage, manifest, maneuver, manipulate. All these actions will surface in this wave spell. While the word man, man, woman, does not come from hand, there is a strong connection between mankind and its grip. And between the hand and the mind, the mind is the origin of the word man and is in mental and mania. So the blue hand wave spell is a time of mental clarity and accomplishment. With a honed mind, we can engage our hand-eye aptitude to materialize our ideas. We get hands-on, drawn to create tangible forms from the blueprints that have been idling in our thoughts. Our thinking moves more quickly now, but not in circles. We get the flare of insight and set out reflectively to build it or birth it into three-dimensionality. Cosmic history quote for Moon 3, Day 8. Our identity is a vehicle or a signature we use to transmit and receive higher energetic collective communication from 13moonpeacetime.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Blue, magnetic hand, Kin 27, 27th of September 2021, attracting healing. 27 9 2021 20, equal 41, equal 995, equal 914, equal 95. Equal 14, equal 5, day codes, 27, power, leadership, command, 9 endings, destiny, service, humanity, grace, 41, power, politics, media, attention, 5, freedom, change, transformation, liberation, month, year codes, 9 endings, destiny, service, humanity, grace, 5, freedom, change, transformation, liberation, 14, media, publicity, promotion, recognition, kin 27 equal 9, completion, destiny, service, compassion, September 27 plus kin 27 equal 2727 equal 99 code, a powerful day to liberate divine healing. Today our journey across the rainbow bridge leads us to a gateway. This powerful gate opens a magical triple healing portal flooding in new healing wisdom and codes as we embark on a new 13-day blue hand wave spell of tremendous accomplishment. It is time to get the job done. Manique, the wondrous blue hand, is actually a portal or stargate itself, leading us into a brand new time and space, as though our earth has been tractor beamed into a whole new neighborhood, accessed through this gate. Divinely perfect, this portal opened 27 months ago, on the 8th of August, 2019, the day the powerful 88 Lionsgate portal was fully activated and flowing forth universal codes from Sirius and beyond, flooding our planet with the Lyran, Egyptian, feline, royal energies. So this is a super boost to our evolutionary journey to access higher timelines and new frontiers. Kin 27 is providing a double gate portal, connecting these two points in the space-time continuum through the magical wormhole it opens. This is the nature of the incredible energies available for us to access during this magical healing cycle. Tone of creation magnetic is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate a new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with the magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one, from out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring, 
One strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your plans, people, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. So today is a brilliant day to contemplate what your purpose is for the next 13-day cycle and what do you need to attract in order to do so. This attraction seeks to unify all as one. This magnetic kin are a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. We are all connecting our hands and are one of the best parts of our bodies to physically connect with our kin. Sadly, in this time of social distancing, when physical contact is discouraged, we have been deprived of this healing energy from our kin. However, we can transmit loving energy energetically. Let us all metaphorically hold each other's hands as we walk together through the portals in these evolutionary transitional times. Today's questions are, what can I accomplish that will bring greater healing to my whole being, body, mind, and spirit? What information and resources do I need to attract, no, in order to fulfill my divine purpose? How can we as earth wizards use our highest divine magic to accomplish our collective mission of establishing peace on earth? Divine blessings for the magical accomplishment of our divine healing miracles in restoring peace on earth. In La Quecha La Quine, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 27, Blue Electric Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to know. Attracting healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the magnetic tone of purpose, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and ascension, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for your continued support. And it's because of your pledges and donations that we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to make a vote for us to continue bringing these transmissions to the world and continue our work and mission of assisting Gaia and all her children through this ascension process, you can make a pledge or donation at the links at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone for supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful prayer from the Seven Sacred Flames by Divine Sister of the Light, Arielia. Prayer for Personal Ascension in the name of my beloved God Presence, I am. I ask to receive the initiations needed to qualify for ascension. I call for a great cosmic shaft of cosmic purity flame to remove from my mind, my thoughts, my feelings, and my body, and all subtle bodies, every vibration of human creation that is impure in substance and less than my divine perfection in God. May the flame of purity transmute from my world all remaining negative energies. May the love of Christ expand in me through the power of the ascension flame. May the resurrection flame awaken the memories of my divine blueprint so that I can be free forever from all discord that I have ever created. I affirm that I am purity in action. I am God's purity established within my mind, body, and soul. Let me also invoke purity for every part of life on earth. Let me invoke purity for my family, my friends, and for the whole family of God, all kingdoms, and the earth. And so it is, beloved I am. I am, you are, we are, oneness. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed walk along the sacred rainbow bridge. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, and always remember, I am the way, the truth, and the light. My mind is illuminated 
by the Holy Spirit of Shekinah and the Divine Presence of Mother, Father, God that resonate within my Sacred Heart Center, within every cell and atom of this Sacred Temple, we call the new Avatar of Heaven on Earth. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.